super rare 1984 last year of the shovel head freaking cool piece man all original original paint haven't even washed or detailed yet so just the way he came in original saddle everything stock original pretty much unobtainium Got another super sweet original 1972 T100C. This was Triumph's enduro bike. You would actually ride these off road, race them off road in the Blackwater 100. This is original stock, 8,000 original miles, original paint, original exhaust. Completely unheard of to see them. See, this thing rides phenomenal too. Um, one of the nicer running ones I've ever gotten in. Got a real nice GS400, super clean GS400. Um, and check this out, man. This thing's ridiculous. This is a 10th anniversary Harley uh, Honda 750, 10th anniversary CB750K. Um, just one of the cleanest ones I've ever seen. I, I, there were a couple guys, uh, friends of mine that collect bikes are in today. They just were like in disbelief. They're like, what does this, what this guy park this thing in his living room? It's super, super clean. Full video on that one coming up too. Oh, the, it was original owner. I bought it from the original owner. It's all stock original. And this is Mike Genero's. Bought from my buddy Mike. CVO Harley Davidson. 110 Screaming Eagle. He only made these a couple years. It's loaded with every option you can get from Harley. CVO 6 speed 110. This one's got the Screaming Eagle intake. Tuner. Vance and Heinz exhaust and a uh, Screaming Eagle cam in it uh, on the dyno rear wheel, 105 rear wheel horsepower. It's a stout, stout, fun Harley Davidson. I got a Rokon 340 automatic. So, got some really cool videos coming down the pike this week. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then this brand new 23 gas, gas 250 two stroke that we'll be ripping on this weekend. So, Stay tuned, folks. Well, I'm going to do an interview with Billy Blythe. He's winning the, uh, thanks to uh, Team Kaplan Cycles, Gas, Gas, and Motul. He's leading the Senior Super A class on his 23 Kaplan Cycles Steiger Designs, Motul Racing, Gas, Gas, TXT GP300. So, two first place, first two rounds. So, we'll hear from Billy tomorrow. Stay tuned. It's a Yamaha XS 650. This is a Triumph 500. 1965. And my favorite bike. This one. Never lets me down. We got a Penton 125. We'll be finishing up tomorrow. And a 1200 Sportster Low. If you're anybody looking for a nice Sportster, this one's coming up for sale this week. And a sick high performance RD 400. This thing's an absolute rocket ship. Can't wait to demo this. I was riding this around earlier too, the CX500 Turbo. That's gonna be a fun one. Got that no traffic on the extra mile on the back of my truck because, well, I got here at 7.25, it's 7.02, almost 12 hours, another average day here. And uh, 
Well, there was no one here when I got here this morning, and the guys are all long gone. But when you own a small business, man, people think it's all easy. They think it's all fun, or or uh, they think that you know, hey, you got a great, he's got all these great things. The amount of effort that you have to put in to make a small business work is absolutely freaking astro astronomical. If you don't have a high tolerance for pain and risk, then then don't do it. But if you want the reward you got to put the effort in there's no way no way in god's green earth that this business would would still be here uh if i worked nine to five monday through friday we'd be out of business in probably probably 90 days uh maybe a little bit longer because basically it's 12 hours every day and then saturday and sunday i'm either at racing events the entire day or, or um listing the bikes on ebay if you look at the timestamps on our ebay listings they start usually at 9 a.m saturday morning and they usually end Usually 15 bikes on a good week will be listed. It'll take me about an hour each. The uh, last one is usually listed around midnight or 2 a.m. Uh, sometimes it takes me the entire weekend to get it done, but I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you, if, if you want to be successful, you got to bust your ass. You know, when, when most people are sleeping, if you're a small business person, you're going to be working if you want it to work. Um, when most people are out the movies or out to dinner, you're going to be working. And you better have a partner who, who understands that, you know, um, Thankfully, Christy has a work ethic that uh, matches mine, so she's usually designing graphics when I get home still, you know. Um, it's impossible to catch up with that that work, too, because we had 22 bikes that came in yesterday that all need graphics. There's no way in God's green earth that uh, she'll ever catch up. That's why, if you ask why doesn't Christy do graphics for the public, well, we never really catch up with what we have to do here. It's a ridiculous workload, so... Uh, I'm 58. I'm not sure how long I'll want to continue this, but um, definitely got a, a, a few years left of pushing hard here. Um, I just show up every day, bust my ass, and leave the results in God's hands. And uh, success is when preparation meets opportunity. So any success I've achieved is due to a ridiculous amount of preparation and hard work. It's absolutely nothing to do with luck or being at the right place at the right time or any winning lotto or any bullshit like that i've started with nothing and worked my ass off my entire life to get where i am the compound the house the bixby house this property here all of it was either built from scratch by me and, and my friends and my team or restored the, this building here uh, 100 man years labor into the one big building 25 guys four years so Anything worth achieving is going to require a lot of effort. You've got to get up early, stay up late. It's 24 hours in the day, right? So if you work eight hours at your job, you have 16 hours left in your day. If you, if you work, think about that, 16 hours, and what are you going to sleep? Maybe six? So you got 10 hours to do something productive with your time if you're working a nine-to-five job. Or if you want to get ahead in your nine-to-five job and you're allowed to work opportunity, uh, uh, to work overtime you won't you'll find there's not much traffic on the extra mile because basically humans are delete are we're, we're humans are survive we have survival instincts and the, the instincts are to for pleasure like eating uh, relaxing sex whatever whatever you find you know drinking you know people we, we seek pleasure and we avoid pain and it's not easy getting up every day and busting your ass it's not easy getting up i go to the gym before before i, co I come here i get up at 5 5 30 and i'm at the gym by 6 6 30 and uh work out for minimum 40 minutes usually an hour and then come to work because i'm too damn tired when i leave to do it so that's how i start my day that's the whole foundation of success is based on all, all the success is based on not drinking not drugging and working out and taking care of myself at my age of 58 I, I have to um when you're younger you can get away with it you can drink and party and uh not sleep much and maybe get away with it but as you get older it, it's harder to stay in good shape you got to eat right and hitting the gym's a cornerstone of of any success i have and the rest of it's just grinding just grinding if you know me you know um you might be smarter than me you might be better looking than me you might be richer than me but you're not gonna outwork me um it's not possible, not not in this business, or you know, it might be a you know in another business that I know nothing about. But when it comes to this business, I'm going to work my ass off. So, and I will succeed or die trying, and, and I don't plan on dying. So, 
I expect I expect great success from the business. I anticipate it, and I and I grind every day to make what you guys see here possible. Thanks for watching. God bless America.